ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the lovely Karina, my lovely Prometita. And we are waiting for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in California, US of A. And Karina, my Prometita, is from Caracas, Venezuela and is a legal resident of Colombia since 2018, July of 18. I live in uh, the Panhandle of Florida, east of Pensacola, north of Navarre Beach, and Navarre Beach is where we're gonna get married when we get our visa approved. And we're waiting and waiting and waiting. We're in the same boat as you guys. We're in the same boat. Hang in there. Come on along, ladies and gentlemen. This video is about K-1 visas that were issued in the beautiful country of Kenya. Kenya, come on, let's talk about Kenya. Now, Kenya is officially called the Republic of Kenya. And if you want to call it it's in its name in Swahili, in Swahili, Kenya is Jamhuri Ya Kenya. And I hope that I got that right, friends in Kenya. <laughs> Don't get mad at me if I didn't pronounce that right, okay? And it, uh, Kenya is a country in East Africa. Beautiful country. It has a population of 47.6 million people, according to the 2019 census. And Kenya is the 27th most populous country in the world and the seventh most populous country in Africa. Now, Africa is a big place. I've been to Africa. I love it. I was in South Africa years ago. Okay. Kenya's capital and largest city is Nairobi. Okay. While its oldest and currently second largest city and first capital is the coastal city of Mombasa. Uh, so Mombasa, okay. Kisumu city is the third largest city and it, and it is also an, an inland port on Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. I wonder if you, I wonder if it's fishing on Lake Victoria. I'm gonna have to check that out. As of 2020, Kenya is the third largest economy in the sub-Saharan Africa after Nigeria and South Africa. Oh, well, maybe they're catching up. It's 2023 now, okay? Kenya is bordered by the South Sudan to the Northwest, Ethiopia to the North, Somalia to the East, Uganda to the West, Tanzania to the South, and the beautiful Indian Ocean to the Southeast, okay? Now, the Indian Ocean's nice and warm, but it got big sharks that swim in the Indian Ocean. Watch out for the sharks, okay? Its geography, climate, and population very widely. It's a very variable, ranging from cold, snow-capped mountaintops, Batian, Nelion, and Point Lenana on Mount Kenya, with vast surrounding forests. What a combination. You can go hunting in the forest and mountain climbing in the snow. Kenya has a very considerable land area, okay, devoted to wildlife and habitat. So they believe in protecting their wildlife, okay, including the Maasai Mara, where in the Maasai Mara, this is an area where blue wildebeest, now, now that's what, it's what it says, blue wildebeest. I don't know if somebody went out and painted them blue, but they're blue wildebeest and other bobits, and they participate in a large scale annual migration. More than 1 million wildebeest and 200,000 zebras participate in the migration across the Mara River. Man, that's got, there's, somebody's got to make a YouTube ch channel about, the, about this. I would love to see that. And in, in Kenya, the five big game animals of Africa are in Kenya. That is the lion, the leopard, the buffalo, the rhinoceros, and the elephant. Now, African elephants, they got big ears, and Indian elephants, they have little ears. So I'm not sure if African elephants, I don't know why that is. It's got to do something to do with cooling their bodies, I'm sure. If you want to check out this annual migration of zebras and wildebeest, the annual migration occurs between June and September every year with millions of animals taking part. And I'm, I am sure this, this event is going to attract a lot of tourists. I'm interested myself. As soon as Karina gets her K-1 visa, we'll get her married, we'll get adjudicated, we'll get her green card, and then maybe once we get her 10-year green card, maybe we'll take a trip to Kenya. I want to check this out, okay? Now, this migration is in, constant, is in a constant clockwise fashion. 
So these animals are in a constant clockwise migration, searching for food, water, etc. And the Serengeti migration of the wildebeest is listed among the seven natural wonders of Africa. Fan this, you'd learn stuff on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, not just about visas, right? The two official languages of Kenya are English and Swahili, okay? And they're used in varying degrees of fluency for communication with other populations. But English is widely spoken in commerce, in schools, and in the government, okay? Ken Kenyans also, they eat three times a day, like everybody else, okay? Now, breakfast is called Kiamsha Kinwa. Lunch is called Chakula Cha Mochana. And dinner or supper is called Chakula Cha Gioni, or simply Chajio. So how about that? And then in between that, they have 10 o'clock tea, and called Chaya Sanen, and 4 p.m. tea, which is called Chaya Sekumi. Okay, so they like, I guess the British brought that tradition to Kenya, morning tea and afternoon tea. Now let's talk about visas, specifically K-1 visas. Now, the U.S. State Department in fiscal year 2022 approved 145 K-1 visas in Kenya, okay? And what's important is if, Mr. American Citizen, if you have a little baby, if, you, if your beneficiary had a baby in Kenya, okay, it's a, he or she is an American citizen if you are domiciled in the United States for longer than five years, but you got to remember the U.S. Embassy in Kenya when you're establishing a biological relationship between your son or daughter and the American citizen, Mr. Sponsor, DNA, DNA testing is the only acceptable uh, evidence that the U.S. Embassy in Kenya will accept. So if you have a little baby in Kenya, Mr. American citizen, you got, you got to get a DNA test and present it to the U.S. Embassy in order to get the baby a U.S. passport. It's important information. And according to the embassy uh, website, the address to the U.S. Embassy, or the mailing address, is P.O. Box 606, Village Market, 00621, Nairobi, Kenya. And if you want to give them a call, this is the phone number right here, okay? And they have a fax number, too. I'll throw that up there after the phone number. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to all our friends watching us in Kenya, you will get your K-1 visa very soon. They, they're working their butts off in every embassy around the world trying to get this backlog of visas processed because of COVID. COVID, oh my goodness, what, sure, be patient. You have to be patient during this process, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you can't be in a hurry. If you get frustrated because you, come on, hurry up, hurry up, gotta get my visa. Don't do that. You will get your visa. If you're qualified for the benefit, you will get your visa. Just be patient. All right, guys. We will see you very soon in the United States with your K-1 visa and K-2 visa. Let's not forget the kitties in your hands on an airplane coming to the United States of America. And we can't wait to hear all about your stories about Kenya. What a beautiful country. Thanks for watching. I'll be back.